Hey, we're now watching Reacher episode four of season two. So in the last episode, we saw that they broke into the bad guy's uh, place and uh, stole a whole bunch of papers. And then they also had some incident at a house where they killed a bunch of people who were waiting for them. And they also found out that like... the cat came in. The cat literally opened the door. She literally opened the door to say hi. I'm like, is that Reacher? <laughs> and you said you'll sneak into their house and then she Yeah, actually... Lincoln walked yeah. in. Like, <laughs> that's so like, hysterical. Uh, we saw there's a cop working with them now. He's getting them names. We find out there's some sort of conspiracy regarding dates. And then we're just slowly warming up to uh, Dixon, O'Donnell, and uh, Neely's uh, team up with Reacher. So far, I still think season one's a little better. So we'll see how these episodes pan out. But season three kind of spruced it up at least. It kind of brought it up. Episode three. Episode three, sorry. Did I say season three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did confirm it's season three. So oh, cool. the, I think each season is just a different book. Someone in the comments said season two is ep uh, book 11. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Anyways, let's get right into it. They had a parking pass for a company called New Age. New Age Which is also, an aerospace company. I'm Marlo Burns. There must be some sort of deal regarding rockets. If it's aerospace. Mm -hmm. Swan, who was working at That's New right. Age with the people who've been trying to kill us. There's always some cliche line. The investigator's dead, one in the wind, and the one who's missing just happens to be the one who worked for New Age. Yeah, he might turn up later. Yeah. What? Brad? Stacy? Team Swan's title was Assistant Director of Security. Shane Langston. Okay, yeah, Mr. Langston, yeah. Hey, this is the guy Reacher chased down outside of Seropian's house. Same photo as his ID badge. Associate Security Officer. What is up with all these Associate Security Reacher Officers? Great. Swan mm. got over a thousand employees. How are we going to tackle that? One at a time? One at a time. <laughs> Nice work. <laughs> I mean, that was predictable. <laughs> night, you asked for a late night warrant for some. Oh, place. him. Oh, him. And an hour later, it's Chappelle. The is hit the smash and grab. <laughs> CTU. You know what makes this Chappelle is the other one. Well, I've seen him so many movies, place, but I can't think of one. He's definitely in everything, though. He's been in some mafia movies. I know that. Mm. Am I asking you nicely enough, Russo? I'll get it handled. Right. Close the door. Maybe he's got ties to New Age. An actor of that caliber? We'll yeah, they got someone well known. There are multiple emails between Swan and our old friend Marlo Burns. Just them. No one else copied. How about what? Music. But not really. It's coded, right? Yeah, you know. mm. Could be code. Or could be a guy trying to get laid. I mean, I once told a girl I love George O'Keefe. Say <laughs> <laughs> thing. I looked at the whole stuff on the test. Really? <laughs> really enough. So if New Age stands to make a fortune on a government contract and Lavoie is its champion in Congress, it stands to reason New Age is the wind blowing Lavoie's back. I mean, duh. Wrong. Well, I couldn't make it so they'd be begging to tell us what they know. Why? He's How? really enjoying Something you want to share with the class? <laughs> I simply present the facts to people and let them know which way the river's going to flow if they choose the wrong course of action. You give me 10 minutes to make some phone calls. Do it. Richard's wanted to do that. Or maybe he ran off so fast because he knew three pissed off soldiers and a kaiju were coming for him. A kaiju? A he calls him, calls him a kaiju. That's funny. Okay, no. Maybe we don't know some people as well as we think we do. There's no way the Tony Swan I recruited is a part of this. He's so offended. Yeah. End of story. There's no way it could be him. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Let's just take the W, Gramps. Don't sass your elders. Yeah, take it easy on them, guys. Take the yeah, W? I don't think they ever said that years ago there. Either you miscounted or they palmed one back to short you. No, no, no. You do shit like that, now I'm the game for long. I know we <laughs> loaded 40. Unless that Captain grabbed one. Swan's ride. Also, 48 is pretty exact, right? Ah, must be solved. What's he doing up there, though? My gut tells me he's a good man. Your gut's never been wrong before? <laughs> Blame yourself for our friend's deaths, which, like I said, would be stupid. Mm. Let's just see what O'Donnell found. I could have the evidence in garbage bags, so they have them clearly marked. Oh, it's true. <laughs> and upon first glance, I gotta say, got a few questions. Look, I like a payday as much as the next guy. Jesus, that looks exactly the same. Is he just gonna kill him and be him? I wonder, yeah. In a manner of speaking. 
Yeah, exactly. It was just pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, of course. The second I saw him, I thought he disguised himself as a... <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'm just gonna go and have a word with your secretary. Yeah, figured. Jeez. No one's gonna notice two dead people there? All appointments canceled there. Oh, he just needs them gone for a few days. Hmm. That was kind of predictable. Though maybe you couldn't answer because you broke your hand when you drove the fucking car through the office building. I didn't get hurt at all. <laughs> wait, 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 what do you think? I'm here to do your clerical work? Yep. We're busy heading off to Boston. What's in Boston? The symphony. God damn it. <laughs> That's so realistic. <laughs> we went back to the same guys. Isn't it funny? Oh, seriously? I don't know. This just ain't your week. <laughs> Wait, they just go to them whenever they need a gun. <laughs> they a gun, yeah. Oh, they oh. They're just taking the drugs. Find a new line of work, asshole. <gasps> he got lucky. Mm -hmm. They send the woman for the woman. Go women. Out, though. They're not very uh, subtle. The lights are on in the second floor. Cool drone shot. Oh, nice, yeah. Even the swimming pool's covered, that's a neat detail. Cool. And because it's autumn, I guess. Yeah. They got the barbecue. <laughs> the door is open already. Oh. So that means, yeah. They don't have gloves? There's a kid. Yeah, she's. she's Oh, that's neat. She plays video games. It's like Cabinet. a not cliche you see. Cabinets are open. I'm so nervous. Jane's a gamer. Nintendo. Got mm. good taste. <laughs> uh, you might wanna... And bring the money? You guys think about giving comics? Like <laughs> Do you know why I love comic books so much? Well, because he said the same thing, theater boy. I guess as he's like fighting Reacher, he's gonna say the exact same well, thing. Look at you. Anyone ever diagnosed you as a sociopath? Diagnosed? No. Said? <laughs> but he knows he is. Yeah. What do you make of Marlo Burns taking off with just some clothes and leaving all that cash behind? Not sure yet. Oh, she did take a toothbrush. She could be your soulmate. Shut up. <laughs> I wonder if they use the money to buy. Not one word. <laughs> oh, That's two words. I'm just saying you look nice. You both look nice. You look like the assholes on top of a wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go listen to some boring ass music. Hey, my music is not boring, okay? <laughs> Anna, wash your mouth, boss, your ketchup slides. <laughs> Wouldn't he mind? Not if he wants to keep his job. Please, take a seat. And she's doing this flawlessly. 13, 14s, 8, 13s. <laughs> Two student men just looking at papers at a coffee shop. They're probably once yeah. probably like, no, it's good lawyers. Yeah. Sure. Let me tally it up for you. Right. It's a tally. What? Here. See, they always do that. At least yeah, one mentions a word in the correct sentence. Something happened 13 like us, okay? I love you. I'll the moon back. Okay. Bye for he has a phone to talk with his dad? Can you see me? Yeah, yeah a little excessive. 2,197 minus 1,547. 650? Yeah. 650, holy shit. 650 at 100K each. And you wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Not for $65 million. No. You are mm -hmm. a changed man, O'Donnell. So people do change. Yep. Maybe you should give it. Boy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Healy again. Says my guy's in place. Mm. My guy's in place? Oh no, you did the work, you get the reward. If you insist. My god. Ooh. Let's play cool. Ah, <laughs> nice. Awesome, they have Finley back. Yes. You think I own a makeup mirror? They're all hers. And I have a special <laughs> space for people who don't appreciate the sanctity of marriage. 
So what's he doing back in Boston? Oh, smart. That's why they dressed up. Special nice. Agent Jack Marbury. <laughs> Special Agent. I figured it was Finley actually when he mentioned another guy. Yeah, okay. same. Why? In Boston. We don't like you. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Well, she's probably worried about him over in DC. Worried sick. You know, happy wife, happy life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that phrase a million times. It could be used in missiles and not just against them. It could Ooh. be scaled down and installed. Oh, he's ready to talk. Shoulder, fire. You fire, you hit your target. Period. Oh, you really knew about this. Oh. What Senator Lavoie waiting for it to go through the proper channels? It would never. Does that mean Roscoe may pop up? So I'm assuming <laughs> That'd be awkward. Lavoie knew what a wing would save lives. I mean, <laughs> everyone made fun of the Star Wars defense program, but yeah, in the '80s. Look at where mm. we are now. Everyone's trying to shoot projectiles out of the air. Little Wing can knock anything out of the sky. Oh, he's really quite proud of this particular project. Mm. New Age has two bases, software made in New York, hardware at a manufacturing plant in Denver. That's what Denver is. What else can you tell us? So, are the drug charges getting dropped or what? I don't know. I'm not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling better every day. And the dog? Jack eats too much. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> See you around, Reacher. See you around, Finley. Aww. Aww. I wonder what happens to the director. Does he let him out? Maybe you can gum up the works. Keep the missiles out of the wrong oh. hands. O'Donnell and I and don't know. Are fall? Mm. By Homelands. I guess not. I don't know. O'Donnell seemed a little weird there. What if he's like the inside yeah, and on no. and because they always have kind like of, the first there's guy. always some guy in these kind of stories. Yeah. I'll die. That's funny. Oh, he's loosening his tie. Oh. Leave you. Always. What do you think was gonna happen? Yeah. The women are gonna fight in high heels. Why not? Gonna kick by a high heel. She actually foreshadowed that if, they, if she kicks him with it. Oh, true. Oh. Let's see what's gonna happen there. Well, now she's really pissed about not wearing jeans. <laughs> How did they know they, they were there? Ow. <laughs> I love how I know. they make their. Uh... Oh. Jeez, look the pipe through him. Oh. <laughs> Everyone okay? Yeah. How do they know, though? It'll heal. <laughs> Again. Maybe we've been approaching this the wrong way, Mr. Reacher. Just Reacher. <laughs> okay, Reacher. What is it that you want? I like my friends back. I like my brother back. I want to throw you out of a helicopter. Psycho killer. Psycho, Psycho killer. killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, how do they trace him there? The only thing that makes sense would be is a mole, right? Yes. Which and would be O'Donnell. Actually, when you think about it, that phone call with his kids were very it was very strange. Like, why did they make a point to show like him talking to his kids about the helping hand? Even mm -hmm. Reacher mentioned it. Yeah, Reacher, Reacher was wondering. Yeah. It's always like the first guy that we see who's always the traitor. And it's not Neely because we've uh, we've known her since season one. Season one, one yeah. yeah. It can't be Dixon. Well, I don't know. But I don't it, think could it's Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> it could be Dixon. It could be. We can't just assume she's not a traitor just because she's a woman. And because <laughs> she slept with Reacher. Yeah, we can't just assume that. Yeah, exactly. It would be a huge twist. But I wouldn't be surprised if That's how we Dixon get rid of her. Or... So Roscoe, come, come back. Yes, Roscoe, Roscoe. <laughs> You're a, a what, what's the word? I'm the shipper. Pro, pro Roscoe. I, I like Roscoe too. I'm team, she, I'm team Roscoe. I have okay. a soft spot for Roscoe. That's the accent, okay. Oh, that too. And mm. she and Friendly are, are just Got so my wife heard me right now. She punched me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fun episode. Yes, that was. And it just cuts to the chase. What do you want? I want to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to throw you out of a chopper. Have a great day. Yep. Like, he, there's no dramatic take. He just ends it like, oh, I want to throw you out of a chopper. Yes. And uh, meanwhile, British dude, evil dude, is uh, finds a guy who looks exactly like himself. 
that's pretty convenient. And then uh, I'm surprised that the show actually showed him killing the doctor because I assume when they showed on the last episode uh-huh. of him looking at the seat, that will just cut to him wearing the glasses or something. But I guess they need they feel the need to show the whole thing. They feel the need to show all the execution and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Or like, but it's gotta be pointing at uh, O'Donnell, right, as the mole. Right? Am I, it might am I overthinking? Be, because he seems a little No, if, for, since this first episode, I was thinking, oh, he might be the mole. He was the one in the hotel. And even though he said it wasn't him, but, you know, people can lie. Yeah, of course. He was the one who said that people don't change. Or, yeah. or no, Reacher kept saying, oh, you're a changed man. But what if he never did? What if he was always a very yeah, shady sort of man? Well, if the season ends with like him turning on Reacher... Kind of like season five. one where we had the FBI. We can high five and be like, "See, we knew it." But they're kind Calling of telling it now. They're kind of telegraphing it. Yeah, of and course. Almost, I, I feel like it, but we'll, we'll see. Watch well, it be Dixon. That would be that would be a nice surprise. Yeah, if would they be. had her do it. Yeah, because the you know it's bring on a woman villain. <laughs> That's true. So far, it's all been like men in suits. Like, come on, diversify your villains a little, <laughs> just a tiny bit. The director, the senator's director, he was kind of slimy. The actor that played him did a good job. The one who was in Cuffs? The one who was Cuffs, yeah. yeah he was he, really he slimy. Was. Yeah, he was. I was like, oh, God. And this guy's in Congress. Oh, he's on Congress. He's working for a guy in Congress. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's U.S. Congress. Half of them are crooks. The other half are working with crooks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, like, you can't be a politician without making some kind of a deal with someone that you don't like. The deal that's, with that, the That's people. politics, though. Yeah. Politics is about making compromise, especially with assholes. Because I think the show kind of hinted at it. You know, he's like, oh, corruption, everything hidden in there. And then the director's telling him how that's how this thing's done, right? Mm. It shouldn't be like that. But people who get into politics typically aren't the most idealistic people. A lot of them are sociopaths or assholes. <laughs> so True. That, that was like a, a reminder, basically. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Episode 4 was enjoyable. It's nice to see Finley again as well. That was great to see Finley. Yeah. That was great. When they mentioned I have another man, I was like, it's got to be Finley. I was like, please let me Finley. It's got to be Finley. He's like, and when he mentioned if he was in the army, I would have brought him into the 110. Yeah, I, knew I was it like, had it's got to be, be, be a cop then. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. In Boston. Didn't he used to live in Boston? And then he moved to Margrave? Yeah. Now he's back The in Boston, Boston connection was only for that reason. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to episode four mm. of Reacher. And if you guys want to see the reaction for the next episode, it will be on our Patreon. Patreon is in the description below. Thanks for watching our reaction. Take care and have a great day.